I, I, the best way I can put it is that <clears throat> I remember there have been so many tragedies we've suffered in this country. But behind every tragedy, as sad and as demoralizing as it can be, I'm always proud at how we respond as a nation. Right. We don't wilt beneath pressure and adversity and indeed tragedy. We rise up, we come together, we, re we remind the world, particularly in those moments, why we are widely considered the greatest nation on earth. When I saw those people in Boston, you know, scurrying for, the, you know, right. for, for cover, trying to protect themselves and their loved ones, you also saw courage because you saw people trying to help those who were injured. Uh, you saw a city rise above literally some of the ashes right. that, were in, that were present and just put the world on notice that we are who we are. Boston is a fabulous sports town. Yeah. I love going to Boston for sporting events. I loved going there to watch uh, Celtic games. And, you know, the crowd is rabid, is fervor, and how they go at it. Uh, they attacked this tragedy with the same level of fervor, if not more. Uh, they refused to wilt. And that's what I take from yeah. it, the fact that they stand up and they remind the world what America is all about. That's what they did last year on this day. And that's what they continue to do today. And that's what I take from it. I told you before the show, I was hesitant to even do this topic because the more I think about what happened, the sicker I get about it to the point I almost can't talk about it. It was hard for me to watch the great piece by Tom Rinaldi because yes. after a while, I, I, I can't make it go in my head anymore what happened. That these two kids are trying to make a statement by maiming people who are cheering the finishers in a 26.2 mile race? Really? I, I just, it's just incomprehensible and that some people are going to be left without limbs for the rest of their life because of this. But I must say, and this didn't surprise me at all, I've worked in a number of cities and I know Boston very well. I ran the Boston Marathon and I, I, I felt it across the ropes, the pride of that city and the pride they take in the people who finish that marathon. And for me, only Chicago in civic pride even approximates what you can feel in downtown Boston. Downtown Boston has deep civic pride and it didn't surprise me at all how that city pulled together mm -hmm. and said, no, mm -hmm. we are Boston strong. And they were going to catch who did this and they did and then they were Boston strong all the way through that World Series. And you can't tell me that that World Series didn't have something to do with the civic pride and strength of that no city. Sure. There's just no, no question about it. And it was a great way to cap off their recovery, not that they'll ever quite recover from this. And, and yet, it, the reason it's hard for me to talk about is I care so much about that marathon that now I know there are going to be people along that route who are looking over their shoulder. And I, I, I don't know what to say about that. I, I, don't know how to, I, I don't know how to put that in any perspective because such a hallowed event that was such a peaceable event, it, it, it's, it's such a pure competition and now it has that taint on it. it.